and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host, Mike, and with me is Kage, and we are talking about MULN. Kage, uh, so the reason why we're talking about this stock today is because one of the listeners wanted to uh, discuss some of it, and it's a good thing he did because uh, uh, it's showing up uh, in the trending section of, of the twits there, huh? Mm, yeah, MULN is one of those stocks that usually is a pretty solid choice for most people, I think. It's mm-hmm. kind of one of those. Uh, it's kind of one of those stocks that's involved with the uh, green energy kind of movement, and mm-hmm. and since I pulled up uh, this uh, this page on uh, Stock Twits, it's had seventeen new Mullen posts, and so mm-hmm. this uh, this stock is uh, talked about a lot. So yeah, There's and uh, just just for any new listeners to the show that listen, because there's some that do. When Kage reads a take, it's not what he is thinking. It's what the actual person on the board is actually saying. So just an FYI. Yeah, I should dis- disclaimer alert. My opinions are not necessarily reflective of the overall purpose of the show. My yeah. And the comments that I read are, are from others and mm-hmm. do not necessarily represent my opinions yeah and we we have to say this because some tool bag said that uh that kage was was saying something negative about the, uh, the stock we covered uh last week or no the uh, a couple days ago and i was like no dude he just read a take what's a bearish take we're gonna read the bear takes we're gonna read the bull takes and we're gonna give you a fair shake of what they actually say so you get both sides that's all we're doing yeah and uh, so. our our point is to try to be as fair and balanced as possible with Mm -hmm. each of these stocks and we're not necessarily getting our pom-poms out for every single one and we're Mm -hmm. not necessarily dissing on as others yeah yeah we're we're just giving each a fair take and fair balanced viewpoint from what we're seeing Mm -hmm. so we're going to go into one of the first stocks we're going to talk about is muln muln mullen automotive incorporated last tick was 0.3494 Uh, Going to the chart, you're starting to see some resistance uh, popping up here. Uh, And we're going to, so if you're new to the stock and you haven't heard of it or anything, uh, it's a sub, it's based in Southern California based electric vehicle company, engages in the manufacturing passenger electric vehicles and commercial vehicles. Company was founded in April 20, 2010, and is headquartered in Bria, California. Going on to stock twits, Kagi, because that's where the real traders are at. What do you have on the twits? Uh, Here's a take from Addicted to F-U-D, FUD. (laughs) Interesting name. He he says, M-U-L-N, bullish. So I am mostly here to make people chuckle, scream. I missed that about working, but I did say something the other day that hit and stuck. The HLBZ and GNS apes cashed out and and brought money here. That is mm-hmm. obvious, but consider this. Those are businesses that have a market outlook that is real, but limited. Mm-hmm. MULN has an almost unlimited outlook, nothing but room to grow. This isn't a meme stock, but no. bullish. Yeah, I, I, don't, I never thought it was a meme stock either. You know, the, the, the Mockingbird Media might have said it was a, a meme stock, but hey, you're all insurrectionists out there, whether you like it or not, according to the Mockingbird Media. So just remember that. Uh, so oh. uh, go. What's up? Ne- never mind. Never mind. Go uh, ahead. So going on to Global Newswire, uh, we have Mullen announces uh, the re- uh, Mullen announces result of special meeting of shareholders. Now this is huge news in itself, guys, because they're saying that uh, shareholders are now approving all uh, proxy related proposals for the company's no t- no plans at the current time for reverse stock split. So there was some rumors on the boards and things like that, that, hey, they were gonna go into a a reverse stock split. That's bad, but they're not doing that, according to this. The company has no plans of the current uh, effect of a reverse split until March 6, 2023 to meet the NASDAQ minimum bid of a dollar. So they have till March 6th. So that's huge news in itself, and we're getting the word out there. I think that's why the listener wanted to cover that, Kage. Uh, was because he wanted to get that word out there to let uh, people know they're about that because that that's fair you got before somebody just in case someone comes in new even though you shouldn't get into anything and sub when it's new 
or sorry, anything that below a dollar would violate Ricky Gutierrez's rule of trading. Uh, some people are still going to do that. If you're new, you should go into paper trading and be cautious and uh, uh, take some trading classes before you're jumping into a penny stock. Uh, so it looks like uh, they're extending the stake threshold requirement. It's extended for further 180 days to approximately September 6, 2023, if the company still falls short of the minimum bid requirement. So there are is some time before there is such thing as the reverse split there. So there's that. What else do you have on the twits? Yeah, you were covering that comment that I wanted to cover, but yeah. <laughs> you could say it anyway. You're good. <laughs> but you uh, you chose a good one right there. Uh, how about this one from yeah. 808 Mark? He says, M-U-L-N-A-A-B-B. Those are his trades. Some m Same marketing team here as a, the failed fraud company, A-A-B-B. Yikes. Almost identical approach and players. Watch tomorrow. No news and likely red after the AABB pump-like strategy. Identical tactics to sell into a pump. ABB, AABB is fake and unlike MULN, which actually has limited transparency and an actual sort of product, AABB mm -hmm. is just another Air Enron-like failed crypto fraud that will be investigated by U.S. SEC very very soon. FTX got nothing on the fraud. AABB has been and is pulling now. There is high hopes for Mullen. AABB mm -hmm. is fraudulent and about to fold as AAB SEC discovery approaches. That guy is, yeah. I think, taking coming in hot with this one. Um, yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's he's bringing he's bringing the receipts there as well. Uh, so you have. Uh, Mullen, the Mullen fought the five is the pure electric SUV crossover accepting reservations for a hundred hundred dollar refundable deposit. Uh, the estimated range on this one is 325 miles. Uh, electric limited is 155 max. Uh, miles per hour is 3.2 seconds. You also have the the uh, the the one through six uh, electric vehicles for the fleets. Uh, so we've covered a lot of this before. That's why we're going to cruise through this really quick right here on this website. Uh, and there's the there's the EV crossover that they have that everybody's been talking about. Last time when we covered this, didn't somebody uh, didn't somebody also uh, say that they ordered one or something like that on the boards? I'm a citizen LM five one one M U L N. If we get additional PR, that is amazing. Just remember. One dollar is not the end game. There are people waiting to invest in Mullen when it hits a dollar to prop properly invest. It Mullen, if Mullen goes to one, it shouldn't be the end of the run. Bullish. Uh, I got an interesting and kind of dumb take right here. I got Megan's microphone. This was four minutes ago. She, and if that this even if it, even if it is a Megan, I don't know. It could be a botnik, uh, but. Uh, MAGA and Mullen, a perfect match for the poorly educated. Con congrats. Uh, we've covered this over and over. Do you even remember this being a MAGA stock? Uh, last, no, last time I, I, checked, don't I don't remember this being a MAGA stock. I think this no. was a, kind of a uh, blue blue check mark stock when, with it being involved with the, uh, the green energy and New Deal. The, what, Megan, that, I think it was all the, the, I think it was kind of a hippie stock, but I don't remember it being MAGA. That that's the worst take I've ever heard on the boards ever. Feel free to post on the board like never again. Honestly, I mean that that take was just freaking awful, 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 awful. So, uh, bear skating on ice, breaking, staying afloat. They're sinking fast. Yeah, that's what. That's why she's she's. You never know where this could go. I'm not saying I know where it's gonna go. I'm just saying that who who knows here and. Mag, I'm just, I'm still in shock as she said it's a MAGA stock. It's like, come on, dude. We got PR disaster. What else do you got here? I see a lot of uh, replies to uh, some bear takes here. Um, uh, there's also, uh, there's also uh, something about quiet period being over. And uh, how about this one from Charles Payne? He says, M U L N. Absolute idiots who put a dollar into a stock and they think they have carte blanche to act as if they are suddenly a principal of the company. Pathetic. 
That is true, man. It's it's, it's totally true because you, you get these people and that, that do this and they're like, dude, they don't freaking care about you, you know. Mm. Yeah. Um, any, any, anything else you got here besides, uh, there's a lot of people trolling against, against the bulls there, but I think it could be manipulation here. Tommy rocker. I will find these two gorgeous beauties and bring them to the Molinaires party. Now, LFG, LFG. <laughs> and it's got a, a couple of, uh, volleyball players smacking each other. Oh. You got you got MDM four ninety five. He's saying uh, he's saying that uh, Mellon at Essentials thirteen is absolutely possible. The stock was four dollars and rising. The only reason why the drop was a slanderous writing about the battery testing. Did you see? Do you remember? I don't remember stuff about the battery. I mean, yeah, I think I actually do. I remember when they had uh, people were saying that the battery testing was bad. It was it was. Uh, he's saying that that was made up. Uh, the CEO testing the company said. That came out. Nobody said that it was slanderous. Writing was wrong, so someone basically made it up. And the batteries were as good as Mullen had hoped, but they're still a viable product. More lies at investors' play, uh, dude. I freaking hate that place. I totally, I totally agree with him at investors' place to drive the price down. That is the biggest Shark Tank. I, I just, I don't like that place, man. I, I think I got booted off of there one time. So, mm. not, no, maybe that was Investors Hub. I don't know. Same garbage. Uh, anyways, uh, do you got anything else you want to add to this one before we move on to the next? I think there's a lot of people laughing about the Bears' takes with this stock. I think a lot of them are uh, rightly uh, rightly making fun of them for dissing on it. Hey, all all it all it. I don't say I'm not saying I know about uh, any deals, but if a deal comes in, the Bears are just going to look stupid. It's easy to troll when people are down, but you never know what's going to happen. So yeah. uh, we'll just see how it plays out. Uh, you got anything else to add? No, I think uh, we're ready to move on to the next one. Okay, we'll see you in two and two. Peace. As the next stock we have is SHOP, SHOP, Shopify Incorporated. Last tick was $47.85. Going to the chart, you're starting to see resistance popping up, and this thing is on the move. We're going to find out why it's on the move. Going into what would you say they do here if you've been hiding under a rock somewhere? They operate a cloud-based uh, e-commerce uh, platform uh, designed uh, for small and medium-sized businesses. Its software is used for merchants to run businesses across all sales channels, including the web, tablet, mobile storefronts, social media storefronts, brick-and-mortar pop-up shops. The firm's platform provides merchants with single-view business and customer enables them to manage products and inventory process orders. Build payments, build uh, build customer relationships, and leverage analytics and reporting. Company was founded uh, in September 28, 2004, and is headquartered in Ottawa, the People's Republic of Ottawa, Canada. Going on to stock twits because that's where the real traders are at. Kage, what do you have on the twits? Uh, I'm seeing bulls for this stock, um, like this one from Intuitive Investor. He says. S-H-O-P. I remember when this world would go on months-long runs. Today's breakout brings me fond memories. Bullish. Money 48. He says, S-H-O-P. Good day today. I have to say I was hoping this would stay in the 30s. Nothing can be accomplished by running to the 50s and then sitting in the 50s for the rest of the year. I'd rather accumulate more shares in the 30s for a long, long term. So he, that's okay, his so take for like, holding long for this stock one. Going on to Yahoo Finance, uh, we got Shopify is supposed to be announcing the fourth quarter of 2022 financial results, February 15th, 2023. So as you saw the news break, uh they uh this thing goes off on a pop and uh i guess that's anticipation of uh the the good news there uh maybe there we'll see what, have to, what happens there uh shopify management team will host a conference call to discuss fourth quarter results at five o'clock eastern wednesday uh the conference call will be available webcast investor relations at shopify website uh so there you have it what else do you have on the twits uh, how about this one from Rooster76544? He says, 
S H O P way overbought today. Good company, bad times. Customer spending will decrease and so will their income. I believe the shorts have covered over the last month already. There's not much room for a squeeze depending on econ data tomorrow. This may fly a little higher, but fall a lot farther. It's a very cyclical stock. Nevertheless, lots of puts have been burned if expiring soon. Good luck to all. I also have another article on Yahoo Finance too as well. And there is some debate out there, Kage, whether uh, the Amazon and uh, Shopify compete against each other, take each other out. I, I, you can't compare the two because... One of the big uh, hauls you have with uh, Amazon is the AWS program, uh, which it's cloud. It's it's a money making machine as far as uh, how much revenue that brings in and how much companies need that. Uh, so, uh, so I know there's been some shout, shouts of comparisons, but let's not let's not get over our head on on those two saying that one's going to take it out. Uh, uh, at least as of now, as of current things, how they stand anyway, just to end that debate there real quick. Uh, Shopify raises service plan uh, fees. And no, I don't have my pom-poms out for freaking Amazon either. So fees after leaving largely unchanged for the last 12 years, Shopify is raising prices for three of its service plans after they remain largely unchanged for 12 years. The Ottawa based e-commerce company said the basic plan will now cost 51 a month from 38. And the Shopify plan will move from 99 per month to 132 advanced plan to increase 389 each month. Existing merchants that switch plans for the monthly to yearly terms will keep the current lower price at new rates to take effect April 23rd. So there you have that. Uh, what else do you have on the twits? Uh, how about this one from Chili Dogs Don't Know? He says, S H O P, that price increase is is it for the year and probably going to save the 2023 comps, but you can only raise prices by 30% so often store owners will yeah, bail for a better a offering that is, that has a fixed cost if they get too greedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially, especially in a, in a global recession, it's not like things are going to get any better anytime soon, but we'll see uh, what that does and things like that. Uh, so going on to the website, it looks good. It better look good. It's freaking almost 50 bucks for, for a share. Uh, so global e-commerce e platform, build your own Shopify, sell offline, sell anywhere you want. Uh, so obviously you have your barcodes, things like that. You put them in, uh, you're connecting yourself with millions of entrepreneurs to choose Shopify builds their business from hello world to IPO millions of merchants worldwide, 170 countries represented it re represented. 10 of total us percent 10 percent of total us commerce uh and 404 444 billion us dollars uh global activity uh creators developers partners plus enterprise we have it all the store your way check it out how you build you go through your collections it's going to do the hand right there change move your collections go back check out your board then go and mark for the, then you can build, uh, do all your other stuff you got there. Uh, build your own online storefront, craft a brand you want, level level with apps, sell to a buyer everywhere. And there you have that. Uh, let's see, best converting checkout on the planet. So online checkout, you gotta have it there. Flexible point of sale, power sell. We have a point of sale there, don't we uh, there, Kage? And it works really well, especially when you don't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> Huh, Kage? Yeah, that, the, it's, those, uh, it's uh, one of the signs of the times. Uh, the cashiers yeah. are going out and uh, machines are taking their place. Th those are the best sales that we have, uh, Kage, is when we don't when we just get an email that says we made money and uh, we don't have to talk to the customer and they just want to email back and forth. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that, that's fine. I mean, that's business for you if that's mm -hmm. how people want to do it. This so this this company right here, uh, their showcase BLK and Bold. Uh, Rod Johnson, the owner, testifies says we went from burning beans in our garage to needing ten thousand square feet facility to meet customer demand. So uh, they, that just goes to show Shopify helped the, them out. This, so, this is one of those uh, companies that can help a lot of uh, mom mm -hmm. and pop shops and uh, small businesses get off the ground. 
that's for sure. No, and we yeah, and we didn't get paid to uh, to say any of that either. We just uh, free plug there from us. So yay us. Uh, what's what's going on on the twits? What else we got for uh, t- uh, uh, comments here? Uh, here's a funny take from Moonman three two one. He says S H O P. The Bears got smacked today like little peons. They always refer to this oh, company I see. I as got that garbage. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> they what always refer to this there? company as garbage. LOL. Place your bets right here, baby. Bears it so we can all see your demise. No one on this thread can influence the stock. LOL. I just do it to have record of my success. Happy face. <laughs> It is bear hug for you says bulls don't have a good risk reward pumping the unprofitable tech in higher rate environment. Will shorting every pump tomorrow fair 30 to 35 fair value. Um, he could possibly be right if there's another correction there. So he is, he is on to something there. As far as that goes, there was a rebuttal to that. If you want to read the rebuttal and he said, it's still lower than the 29 time. This is a buy dude. So that's what he says. Uh, M4, M4, R4. Um, is Bear for you uh, referring to the the possible the correction that's that's going to come again? Because you can't you can't stay where you're at in this market. There there is a market correction uh, uh, coming. Uh, so is that is that what he's referring to? And he's putting it, he's putting himself out there saying I told you so or no? Possibly it isn't it isn't but a bad could take. Also be a, but he could also be trying to make a strategy for someone to convince someone about their shares mm-hmm. and uh, so that he can swoop yeah. in and buy them because uh, yeah. this is a, this is kind of a big fish. This is one of the uh, yeah. more stable stocks that'll hold its value for a lot longer than others. So mm-hmm. what else do we got on the twits? You got anything else besides some of these? I promotions? think, uh, I think we gave it a fair shake. This is a, this is a big one. And uh, basically it's up to our, co- up to our listeners what they want to do with this we mm-hmm. we gave both sides uh, of the aisle a- we gave valid valid points and uh they can make their own uh, decisions now before just, we take uh, off from this stock just don't spend it all in uh, one place uh, we'll just say that if you're going to stocks don't put it all in one place uh, and uh, just 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 a little interesting take. This is from TT McGee, TTMC uh, um, uh, McGee or TT McGee Band. He says uh, these markets are feeling more and more like frantic, brainless, greedy QE markets of 2020, 2021. It is possible what he's saying here because so we're leaving inflation, recession, re- and the regime, and re-entering the FOMO uh, QE regime. He's not that far off. People are throwing that cash into the cow, and uh, there's there's a Mr. Hedgy right there, and you know, because uh, we we know what's coming down the pike, uh, but you know, it is what it is. We'll move on to the next. Uh, you know, sometimes you can't have all the happy talk, but we'll see you again in two and two. Peace. Next stock we have is COSM. COSM last tick was six dollars and seventy two cents. Go into the chart. Well, we're seeing some resistance pop up. We better start seeing some resistance because this thing was in a has been in a dive bomb since March 2022. Uh, going into what would you say they do here? They're a pharmaceutical company which engages in the importation and exportation, distribution, sale of pharmaceutical products. It involves research and development and business units and acquisition of pharmaceutical companies. The firm offers over-the-counter drugs, branded generic medicines, dietary vitamins, and supplements. Company is founded July 21st, 2009, and is headquartered in Lori Lightfoot's People's Republic of Chicago, Illinois. What do you got on the twits? Uh, here's a take from Expired ITM. He says, COSM, here's a better picture for tomorrow and Friday, boy. There is a lot in store for this stock afterwards. Thanks for liking my posts before bullish and he's got his uh, chart in the comments and it looks overall pretty positive for the stock these are my analysts he says <laughs> cosm unpopular opinion i don't mind a day trader one bit some days in some stocks i'm a day trader not here it's too volatile i've tried 
respect to those <laughs> who can, day traders add volume, and more importantly, they buy cheap shares before they sell them. Yeah, and I'm guessing that this that. is uh, one of those uh, where it's actually uh, at a all time low, and that's one of the better ones. That's what you got to do. You got to go in and uh, I could tell you some of the ones that I've done, but uh, apparently these days you're not allowed to uh, say too much. So I'll keep it uh, on the, on the, on the DL there. It uh, looks like uh, today they announced the board of directors has approved a share repurchase program and authorization to purchase up to 3 million of its common stock. Cosmos was to repurchase the shares. And this is from access wire shares from the time through open market purchase, according to in accordance with applicable securities laws and restrictions. The timing of the total stock per, uh, repurchases will depend on market conditions, corporate and regulatory requirements, prevailing stock prices and considerations. The repurchase program expires January 23rd, 2024, and may be renewed at the company's sole discretion. The repurchase program will be funded using the company's working capital. As December 31st, 2022, the, the company cash had cash equivalents and market securities of approximately 20 one million unaudited so uh, what do you have on the twits i'm going to go to the website and introduce uh how about this one from one two three lockbox he says c-o-s-m can't complain about today slash this week it sounds cliche but know what you hold oh geez no stick around tighten up we can make it ha magic happen. Where is born? He says, C O S M holding well. Ah, uh, will either cash out $25 or nothing. I don't care. The odds is for a third peak. I will find out until the end. 3M buyback on deck. Bullish. Hmm. At Cosmos, we're committed to the human needs. We serve healthcare with passion and humanity. Uh, Cosmos Health Incorporated is an international healthcare group headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, with subsidies of EU and the United Kingdom. We strive to achieve excellence in the healthcare industry. A Sky Farm trades an excess amount of 500 medicines that can be exported within the EU countries. So that's huge in itself under the belt there. DHN, second generation pharmaceutical incorporated in the UK in 20, 2011. Of August, Cosmo Farm, a pharmaceutical wholesale headquartered in Athens, Greece, growing network of more than 1,130 pharmacies. That's huge in itself. You also have the luxury high quality nutritional supplement brand of a wide range of variety of minerals and herbs from Premium Sky Life. So there are several, there's another one right here, but there are several different company relationships that Cosmos Health is aware with. The two biggest things that I see uh, is uh, for my take just by looking at it, if I'm a layman and I haven't seen uh, uh, anything, I don't know too much about the company, uh, but if I'm looking into things that you see, you've seen the, the revenue on hand, but uh, you have the Sky Premium Life supplements. We all know uh, supplements and vitamins that, that's going to make your dollar rooskies. And you have your pharmacies and medicines there. Uh, that's huge in itself. Uh, new luxury premium line of nutri nut nutritional medicines. The, the Mediterranean uses organic herbs, plant extracts such as cratagus. Uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you got that one. Hibiscus, uh, dittany, Crete, oregano, uh, mastic, and uh, critomos found in the region of Greece in the Mediterranean. It, it contains a proprietary blend of vitamins and minerals that are the highest quality of raw materials. Uh, so there you could see the reach of uh, the empire of Co the cosmos empire, which stretches through uh, Europe, half of Europe and the United States and uh, the great state of Alaska there. So uh, what else do you have on the twits? I mean, the website looks pretty good. Uh, I, you know, could, could spat, at least they're not, at least they're not blowing dough and uh, spicing it up and making the sparkle and glitter of, uh, of lights and everything like that. So, uh, you know, wait to, at least they're saving some dough on that. What else uh, do you got on there? How about I this jump one on from Love Me Pup? He says, C O S M. I can't wait for the day when the day traders who start to dump an hour before closing bell gets caught out when news hits a H bullish. And it's got <laughs> a picture of a, a lot of cops running after a rabbit. <laughs> 
I think a, I think a lot thing. of people I think a lot of people want that. A uh, interesting uh, photo of uh, from Bad Boy Grow It, and he he says C O S M bullish. Y'all ready to pick bags up at twenty and move on out? Bullish, and it's got a guy <laughs> just carrying all these grocery bags on his arms and legs and back. Do you uh strapped? Did you read anything into this take from just watching 65? It says maybe uh PBTS HL Hellbiz and COSM is a good investment since the Chinese are back to work. PBS PBTS is a Chinese stock thoughts. He <laughs> he just watching I, uh... I've heard from I heard China's still not doing well, and I'm not talking about the back to work part. I, I hear that uh Things are uh, not that tight, so uh, I would watch that on any of those. So you might, you might, you might do good in the short term, but uh, coming forward, I, I hear there's something, some major things going down. That's just what I heard from people familiar in the area. So uh, that's that's what I heard on my end. What about you, Kage? I heard somewhere that uh, there's going to be uh, movement in China. And uh, most of it is not going to be geared toward financial growth for mm -hmm. most of the stocks that are there. Uh, the stocks yeah. are basically controlled by a one-party system and not mm -hmm. necessarily regulated as a free market or anything. See, what, what people don't understand is the paid, uh, op the paid uh, Mockingbird media. Uh, some of them are on the, uh, the CCP payroll here in America. And they will say a lot of things. And let's just say that the the CCP doesn't tell all that, give you the exact right numbers. It, it's not like we, it's not like our people are truth tellers either. Either they they give they give out uh, you know fuzzy math as well. Uh, but there, but the, but the CCP is giving fuzzy math about their numbers right now. So uh, it's to be trusted with uh, you know a grain of salt. There. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add before we jump out of here? Uh, I'm good for tonight. I think we did a good job with a lot of these stocks and these comments. So a lot of these, uh, these people have their, uh, strategies and know what they're doing. Others mm -hmm. uh, are just trying to, uh, belittle others and just take yeah. up the cheap, cheap stuff while, while it, the getting's good. Yeah, go to Va and two go to Vasa Gym and go uh, work out and get a workout after a good night of stocks there. Uh, maybe meet a girl or a guy or something like that. Whatever you guys want to do. So mm. get the flow at Vasa, right? There, there's the ad right there for you before you take off. <laughs> Free plug for I, Vasa. Uh, I get my uh, exercise through other means. I don't necessarily need a gym membership. I lift up yep. my heavy bags. I go mm -hmm. on runs. And basically for only nine ninety nine, uh, <laughs> only nine ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine. If you want to go swim in the swimming pool, no, I I think the swimming pool's around that price. I don't know. I'm I'm just uh, throwing stuff out there. So, well, uh, and no, they didn't pay me to say it. I'm just being a goofball. So don't make it a dog show. And good night now. <laughs>